today's flow is focusing on core. So you're going to need a strap and at least two blocks. So let's get started. You're gonna start in Dandasana staff pose. You'll get the strap and place them on both feet as if you are, you know, with your strap, you're holding um, reins of a horse. Notice how my arms are fully extended and my elbows aren't bent. So my arms are fully extended. I'm lifting up through the heart and not sinking and rounding out through the shoulders. Okay, so now we're going to slip the left foot out of the strap. So the strap is only on the right foot, but you're maintaining that letter L shape. So you're going to exhale the left leg up and then inhale the left leg down. So you're gonna do that 10 times without caving in. So you're going to be tempted to wanna pull down on the shoulders to lift the leg up, but you only lift the leg up as high as you can keep your shoulders wide open. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Now slip the left foot in and then slip the right foot out. And we're going to do that again. One, two, three, four. Keep the spine long. Five, six, Seven toes are pointing straight up. Eight, nine, and ten. Good. So we're going to do one more set of those. And this time I'm going to face you so you can see what my feet are doing straight on. Good. Slip the left foot out. And arms are fully extended. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left foot slips in, right foot slips out. One, two, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Beautiful. Okay, move the straps out of the way. If you need to, just massage those thighs. Sometimes the quads um, cramp up. That core work was working on building the strength of the quads, the, abdom the abdominals, and the pelvic floor. Next, we're going to do, grab the block, place it between the thighs, and we're going to hold both. So notice my spine is fully extended. There's no arching or no rounding, but you're trying to maintain a nice neutral spine. So you can stay right here and then hold. Or you can take your feet up. Feel and see how that goes. Try to maintain the pressure of the thighs and the blocks. And then see what happens if your hands are lifted off the mat. And then if you can, straighten out the legs. So pick whichever position feels um, the most challenging, but your form doesn't get lost. So I'm gonna pick right here because this is how I'll be able to hold the pose and talk it through with you. So we're gonna lift through the sternum, collarbones are wide, and we're gonna inhale and exhale through the nose. Inhale two. Inhale three. Hands behind the knees, lower the feet down. Nice big hug. Round out the spine, stretch it out. 
We're going to do one more round of three breaths of boat pose. Take the position, hands behind, just like this, or feet lifted, just like that, or hands behind the knees, or fully extended. Okay. Remember, the belly is pressing against the spine to support the back. Inhale, one, two, keep squeezing the block, three. Lower down, round it out, nice big hug. Wonderful. Now we're gonna move into tabletop pose. Moving the straps out of the way. So you have several options with your block. Sometimes wrists hurt, so it feels good to um, either let the heels hang off of the block just like this or let the fingers hang over the blocks or you come down onto the forearms. So find out for yourself what position feels the most stable for you on your wrists and your shoulders. Or if you don't have any pain in your wrists, you can go straight to tabletop with your hands on the floor. So I'm gonna go ahead um, and I'm gonna do it on, with my forearms on the blocks just to demonstrate what it looks like right here. So we're gonna hold tabletop. Actually, I'm gonna go this way because my body is at an incline. So I'm gonna go up a little bit higher there. So I'm trying to keep my shoulders and my hips leveled. So we're gonna take our left foot, stretch it out. Try not to open the hips out like this. You extend it back with your hips, maintaining tabletop. So you're gonna hold one, two, three, and take it down. The whole time your belly's pressing against the spine. Right foot stretches out, one, two, three and take it down so we're gonna take it up another level feel free to stay in this position right here okay the next thing we're gonna do is lift the leg up inhale exhale curve it out inhale two inhale three and then coming down, tabletop pose. Next side, right side is right leg extends. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, tabletop. Good, so that's the next level. I'm gonna demonstrate the next level facing you so that you can see what I'm doing head on, which is important. So remember the whole time you're going to keep the shoulders and the hips in tabletop. So if you're going to stay at the first progression, feel free to, and every time I say inhale and exhale, you just follow the breath. And then if you're going to choose to say, stay the, ne the, the next level, you're going to follow the breath work, inhale, exhale, inhale exhale and then i will demonstrate the next level and you just follow the cue and the body movements so it's inhale exhale inhale one inhale exhale inhale two okay so we're gonna do that three times on each side okay ready Inhale, exhale, inhale, one. Inhale, exhale, inhale, two. Inhale, exhale, inhale, three. Come back, tabletop pose. Other side. Inhale, exhale, inhale, one. Inhale, exhale, Inhale, two. Inhale, exhale, inhale, three. Tabletop pose. 
Wonderful. Now we're going to take our body straight to the ground. And we'll need our blocks with us. So with this, I'm going to have to move my ponytail out of the way so I can lay flat. You want your body to be completely flat so your spine is as long as it can be on the ground. Toes are pointing to the bottom of the mat and then your knees are pointing up. Belly is pressing into the ground. Take one block, place it between the thighs. Lift so that the knees are directly over the hips and the heels are at least knee level or higher. If they get close here, then you're not really doing any work. So it's at least knee level or higher. Arms out and cactus pose. So you're going to do windshield wipers. The belly is trying to remain contact with the spine. So we're going to windshield wipe to the right. Keep both shoulders anchored to the floor. Pull the belly in, exhale, and then windshield to the left. That's one. So we're going to do that nine more times. Two. Feet are engaged, thighs are pressing into the block. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Feet down to the ground. Beautiful. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, again, is first we're going to adjust the mat if it's crumpled up underneath you. Now we're going to take the block, place it between our thighs. Work to pull the lower back into the ground. Tailbone is pulling off the mat. Arms are down by your side, shoulders are soft. And we're going to lift the feet straight up so they're right over the hips. And then you're going to inhale, lowering the legs down only as much as you're able to keep your lower back pressing. So if this is as far as you can go and you feel your spine lifting up, stop right here. Some of you might have really um, strong abdominals and you'll be able to lower your feet all the way down. But if you notice, you can see on me, once my legs come down, my spine lifts up. So my level, is right here and I can't take it any lower if until because if I try to my spine pulls up and that means my lower abdominals are disengaging and now my lower back is doing all the work so whenever you do core work and you feel your lower back starting to hurt that's a sign that you've disengaged your abdominals you've reached the point where your abdominals aren't strong enough and now all the work is happening in the lower back so only lower the legs down as much as you can keep your spine attached to the floor. Ready? Inhale. And exhale up. Keep pressing the block to engage the pelvic floor. Inhale. Exhale two. Soften the shoulders, soften the jaw. Three. Keep shoulders away from the ears. Exhale four. Five, inhale, six, inhale, seven, inhale, eight, nine, and ten. Wonderful. Take the feet down. One last uh, core work for the front body. And then we're going to flip it over and do core work for our back body. 
So these are called butterfly clenches. So you're going to let your legs be like butterflies. Now if this is too painful on your hips, grab the blocks and place them under your knees for support. Because we don't want the hips to, to suffer for a yoga move. So if you feel like your hips are, are super tight, just place the block and then find that level where the block where the blocks are supporting the knees and the hips don't feel in pain. So I'll, I'll keep mine right here so I, I can show you in the demonstration. The next thing you're going to do is hands are clasped and they're right underneath the base of your skull. Elbows are wide open, sternum, heart reaching up towards the sky, chin is reaching towards the sky, not pushing into the chest and not pulling away, but just right pointing upwards as if you were in mountain pose, Tadasana, the way that I taught in the first flow. So we're going to do exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. And the whole time you're pressing your spine into the ground. Okay, so we're gonna do this for a full minute. You're gonna go Okay, and you're gonna do that for a full minute and I will keep count for you. Ready? And remember, keep the chest and the chin away from each other. Elbows stay open. Don't let the elbows curl over into your face. And your belly is pressing into your spine so that the spine is leaving a mark in your block or in your mat. Ready? And go. Fifteen seconds. Keep pressing the belly into the spine. Thirty seconds. Exhaling every time you lift the shoulder blades off the mat. Fifteen seconds left. Notice the shoulders. Five. And done. Good. Release the knees from the blocks. Pull the knees into the chest. Nice big hug. Wonderful. Now we're going to do the back. So you're going to lie on your belly with the block in front of you. This is Superman's. And so when you lift your chest, you're going to lift your thighs. Press the pubic, don't, the pubic bone down as much as you can. And you're going to inhale up and exhale down. The work is going to be in your back. And you're not going to yank it up, but you're going to only lift up as much as you can without jerking. So. It's gonna be inhale and exhale. Nine more times, inhale. Chin is pulling into the neck, long neck, long along the back side of the neck. Inhale three, inhale four, inhale five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Wonderful. Superman's. Now we're going to do the swimmers, which is a little more challenging than Superman's. So you're going to alternate right hand with the left foot. Okay? So lift up. And if you notice that it's it's putting a pinch in your back, return to Superman, because this is a little more challenging. Swimmer is a little more challenging than Superman because you're contracting your spine the whole time, whereas Superman, you give it a chance to relax. Okay, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And relax.